Hi everyone, welcome to Pellwell Pilates Sculpt. Today you're gonna need a light set of dumbbells, a Pilates ball, yoga mat, and a chair or something you can hold on to for a little bit of balance. We're gonna reach our arms up high. Big inhale, find a squat, push your arms nice back. Reach, push back, reach, and push. Keep going. Perfect. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Find that deep squat. Last one, hold it down, little pulses. Right leg is gonna step out nice and wide. Here we go, step it out wide, push those arms back. Stand tall, other way. Out and up, keep going. Out and up, perfect. Out and up. Deep squat, press the booty back, feel your tailbone separate. Last one, regular squats, down and up. We're gonna add a knee lift when we stand. Right leg first. Three more, two, last one. Add your knee lift here, press it back. Right leg, lift it up. Other leg, lift that knee through the core. Lift and squat. We're gonna take it back to those step outs. Last one, step it out. Out and up again. Out and up. We're gonna hold it wide next time. Couple more. One more other side. Hold this one wide, little pulses. Take your hands to prayer. Turn your toes out. Lift your chest, find wide V. Little pulses. Fill those inner thighs. We're gonna take it full range in four, three, two, last one, full range knee bends, up and down, up and down, perfect. Get nice and deep. Find your breath, inhale and exhale. We're gonna hold it low, pulse it out one more time. Four more, four, three, two. Hold this one low, little pulses. Keep your chest lifted, you got it. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release, stand tall, shake it out, nice job. So you're gonna grab a chair, or anything that you have to balance on, a wall, anything that you've got. We're gonna face that object. Feet are gonna be right underneath your hips. Toes are facing forward. We're gonna start with just some heel lifts, up and down. Shoulders staying stacked right over those hips. Core is tight. Finding your balance. Lifting and lowering. Perfect. We're gonna be here just a little bit longer. We're gonna add on a knee bend. Those calves should be starting to get a little bit warm by now. Heels are gonna lift. Your knees are gonna bend and press forward. In four more. Three, two, add your knee bend here, lift it up, knees bend forward, stand tall, lower your heels. Again, lift them up, knees bend, straighten, lower your heels, up, bend, straighten, and lower. We wanna make sure our knees are pressing over those toes, shoulders are staying right over those hips, try not to lean too far forward, too far back. Keep going. 
perfect down and up you've got it couple more we're gonna hold that knee bend last four three two hold this knee bend little big and up up and down up an inch down an inch so it's smaller than full range but bigger than a pulse heels are staying lifted if that feels a little too intense you can always set those heels down core is tight pull your belly button to your spine stay active through your whole body four more three two hold it at your lowest point little pulses down nice job think more down less up you've got it stay strong Whew. few more we're gonna start it from the top last four three two straighten your legs drop your heels heel raises here we go up and down everything's starting over Woo. calves should be turned on thighs should be turned on You got it, couple more. Last four. We're gonna add that knee bend in, in three, two. Last one, add your knee bend, lift it up. Knees bend forward, stand tall, drop your heels. Press it forward, stand tall, drop those heels. Find those quads. Feel them as you bend those knees forward. We've got four. Three. Two. Last one, hold it up an inch, down an inch. Up and down. Toes are forward, feet right under those hips. Knees are tracking over your second and third toe. Nice job. You've got eight more here. Last four. Three, two. Hold it at your lowest point, little pulses. Down. Remember, you can always drop those heels. Try to keep them lifted if you can. Find your core. Light grip on your bar. Eight more. Eight. Six. Last four. Three. Two. And one, stand tall, release, little quick shake out. We're going on to some fold over flat back work. So you can go forearms to your chair or to your bar. If you wanna challenge your core a little more, you can take it to hands to the chair. Forearms, right leg is gonna step back. We're gonna start with just lifting and lowering that right leg. Up and down, up and down making sure that our hips are staying square to the floor. Belly button is really tight. We wanna make sure that we're not letting our belly release to the floor and pop in our lower back. Keep everything nice and tight. Point your toe, reach long to the wall behind you. Squeeze that right booty as you lift. Find a soft bend in that standing leg. Last four, we're gonna hold it up. In three, in two. Hold this one lifted, little pulses up. Squeeze that booty. 
You got this. Crown of the head reaching forward. Keep a nice long neutral spine. Hips are square to the floor. Your knee is facing the floor. You got it. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, hold it, flex your foot, little bend reach. So we're gonna softly bend that knee and then press it back like you're pressing the brakes on your car. Soft bend, big reach, squeeze that thigh, squeeze that booty. Standing leg is gonna start feeling it too, that supporting hip. Stay strong for four, three, two. Hold it lifted, toes are gonna turn, face the front, take them back down. Front to the floor, front to the floor. Perfect. Rotating through your hip, not just your bottom half of your leg, whole hip rotates open and close. Keep that core tight. We don't want to feel this in our lower back. It's all booty. Four more. Three, two, hold your toes towards the floor. We're gonna open and close the leg. Open and close. Really squeeze that inner thigh together as you close the leg. Try to keep it lifted as high as you can. I know it's getting tough. You got it. Woo, shake it out when you need to. Four more. Last three. Last two. Hold it lifted, static hold. You got this. Hold it. Try to lift one hand. Woo! Try to lift the other hand. Find your balance. You can do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, quick shake out, pop those hips out. Woo, we got that other leg to do. Here we go. Find your flat back. Soft bend in that right leg, supporting you. Left leg taps back, we're gonna lift and lower. Here we go, up and down. Squeeze that booty. It's already turned on from doing that other side. Find length behind the knee, try to reach long towards the back wall. We wanna think more about reaching that leg long than getting it high. Perfect. Core stays tight. Four more, four, three, two, Hold it lifted here, little pulses up. Leg reaches long. You got it nice and slow. Whew. Keep that soft bend in that standing leg. Four more. Three, two, flex your foot, little bend reach. Soft bend in that leg, reach it long, squeeze your hamstring, squeeze your booty. As you reach towards the back wall. Whew. You got it. Four more. Three, two, one, hold it flexed. Toes gonna turn to the wall, turn to the floor. Turn and turn. Rotating through the whole hip. Working on a little mobility, little strength. Keep that core pulling away from the floor.
Four more, you can do it. Three, two, hold that toe to the floor, open and close the leg, open and close. Squeeze through your inner thigh, squeeze it together. Try to keep that leg high, but it's okay to lower it. We already technically worked this side in the standing leg, so it's probably a little more fatigued. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Four more. Three, two, hold it high, static hold, you can do it. Lift one arm, try to lift the other arm. Hold it for four, three, two, and one. Release, nice job, shake it out. Whew, that's it. So all you're gonna need for this set is a chair or maybe a bench or something that you can just elevate your heels on and we're gonna move into some hamstring and booty work with bridges. So go ahead and get yourself set up. You wanna place your heels on the step or the bench and then when you get yourself nice and set up, just make sure the knees are at a 90 degree. So you might need to make small adjustments scooting the hips up. And if you have a hard service, feel free to grab a blanket to place under the heels. So flex the feet, press through the heel, and then lift your hips all the way up, squeeze at the top, and slowly lower back down. We're here for 15 reps. Exhale as you lift up. Make sure the knees aren't bowing out to the sides as you rise up. Make sure you're breathing, you're keeping your core strong. We have eight more. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Five more. Last three. On the last one, we're actually gonna hold it up. From here, we're just gonna step the heels out, out, and then back in, back in. Keep your hips lifted. Keep your core nice and strong. Really feel those hamstrings and that booty start to fire up. We're doing 10, that's four for me, so let's go for six more. Keep your core strong. Five more, we're halfway. Last four. Last three. Last two. As soon as the legs come back in, hold. And now we're gonna come halfway down and up for 15. So a little half range rep, moving into almost isometric work so you really feel the hamstrings and the booty fire up. Already past your halfway point, stay with me. Stay for three, stay for two, hold at the top for 10, for eight, six, four, Three, two, slowly lower down. Take a quick break, hug the knees into the chest. Feel free to rock side to side, whatever feels really good for you. Whenever you're ready, replace the heels back on the step. We're gonna do a full range rep followed by a half range rep. So you come all the way up, halfway down, all the way back up, and then all the way down. We're doing 10 sets. Make sure the core is really strong. Hamstrings should be lit up by now. This one puts us halfway. So here we go, here's number six. Here's number seven. Keep that core strong. Here's eight, just two more, stay with me. Last one. On this next one, hold it all the way up for 10. Eight, you got it, don't drop, stay with it for five, for four, for three, for two, one vertebra at a time, slowly lower back down, hug the knees into the chest. Feel free to rock side to side. We have just one more set for our bridges. Go ahead and when you're ready, set yourself back up. We're gonna lift all the way up, extend your left leg and then cross the ankle onto the right thigh. So single legs, here we go for 15. Eight more, you got it. Really feel that right hamstring. Here's six. Four, stay with it. Three, 
to hold at the top, switch legs right into 15 on the left. It's really burning. Now if you feel the hips starting to open up to the side, keep pulling your right hip up so both hips are staying square to the ceiling. We're not allowing that right hip to fall off to the side. Here we go, three, two, before you drop both heels down, 15, both legs down to bring us the end for the circuit, come on. Core is strong. 10 more, you're almost there, stay with it. Seven. Six, stay with it. Four, three, two, last one, hold for 10. Eight, six, four, three, two, slowly lower down, hug the knees in. You made it to the end of your bridge circuit. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna move into some arms. You're gonna need a light set of weights, twos or threes or ones, whatever you've got at home. Um, soup cans, whatever you've got. We're gonna take both weights into one hand, actually. Let's start with our right hand. We're gonna hinge forward, pull your hips back, find a row with that right arm. Left arm can follow. Pull it back and down. Perfect. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Nice job. Crown of the head reaches forward. Long spine. We've got four more, three. Right toe is just gonna start to tap back with that right arm pulling. Here we go, tap it back and in, back and in. Perfect, elbows are going wide. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four more. Three, two, last one. Hold it long, take your toe to the back. We're gonna lift arms and right leg, and then we're gonna lower back down. We're gonna do two of those rows. Toe taps in, toe taps in, take it back long, reach it high. Lower back down with control, pull it in. Two of these, in, tap it back, lift it high, knee pulls. Find your core, find your balance. Find something on the floor to watch as you lift up. Pull it up and up. Relax your shoulders down your ears. Make sure we're not shrugging as we lift that arm up. And lift. Two more. Lift it high. One more all the way through, down. Pull, pull, lift it high, hold it high. We're gonna do shoulder presses, toe taps the floor, and then we press it right back up. Nice job. Down and press. Whew. Get that shoulder work in. Core is tight. Find your balance. Try not to lean too far back or too far forward. We've got four, three, two. Hold it lifted, straighten your leg. Leg and arm are gonna lower, chest tight. Lift it back straight. Lower and lift. Leg doesn't have to lift super high, just to your point of control. A tight core is gonna help you stay balanced. Maybe find a spot on the wall or on the floor that you can look at. We're almost there, this is it. Last four. Three. Two. And one, release, nice job. Shake it out, switch those weights to the other hand. Whew. We'll get right into the other side. Hinge it forward starting with just those rows. Here we go, pull it back and down. Elbows lead the way. Squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top. Vision should be to the floor at the front edge of your mat. Six. 
Stay with it for four, three, two. We're gonna add that toe tapping back, left toe, tap it back and in, back and in. Stay with your breath. Relax your shoulder blades. Down your back, squeeze them together. Four more. Four, three, two. Last one this time. Right leg, left leg, take it back. We're gonna lift it high all together, all the way to the top. Lower it back down, two of those rows. In and in, hold it long, lift it high. Take it back down nice and slow. Pull it up, in and in, hold it long. Lift it high. Ooh, take it back. Up and down, nice job. Two more after this one. Two more right here. Last one. Here we go, row it up and up. Hold it back, lift it high, hold it. Shoulder press, tap that toe. Out and up. Ooh, tighten up your core, find your balance. Right hand is just shadowing that left hand with the weights. Keep a soft bend in that standing leg. Last four, three, two more. Hold it at the top, straighten that leg, lower and lift everything, lower. Just to shoulder height, lift it back up. Lower, lift to shoulder height. Whew. Stay strong, you've got it. Stop that arm right at shoulder height. Four more, three, two, and last one. Release, shake it out, Woo, nice job. Okay, we're gonna take weights, light weights, two to three pounds, whatever you've got at home. We're gonna find wide V with our feet, so slightly wider than hips, toes are turned out, arms are gonna be out to a T. We're gonna bend the elbows into your chest, press them forward, cross the arms, pull them back, open back up a little quicker, bend them in, cross, in and out, nice job. Try to alternate which arm goes on top. We're gonna add a little knee bend with our legs when our arms cross forward. Here we go on this one, bend, pull. Keep your arms right in line with your shoulders. Stay with it, shoulders stacked over those hips. In this knee bend, try not to press it back. Four more. Three. Two. On this one, hold it in a T. Turn your palms back, little presses back. Little presses, you got it. For eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn your arms to the floor. Lower them down a little bit. Right arm is gonna lift. Left arm is gonna lower. Left leg is gonna curtsy. So it looks like this. Take it back and then back out. Down and out, perfect. So we're working a little bit of arms, a little bit of legs, all together. If you wanna challenge yourself a little more, instead of coming to this low V, you can take your arms back to T. It's gonna work those shoulders just a little bit harder. If you need a little release, take it to that low V. Stay with it. Four more, we're gonna switch right into the other side. In three, in two. Other side, here we go. 
Palms face you and then they face the floor. Palms face you and the floor. Find that deep curtsy lunge. Stay with it for four more. Three more. Two. Hold in that wide V. Turn your palms to the ceiling. Find your knee bend. Little bicep curls. Up and down. Legs are going to straighten when the arms straighten. In three more. Two. Here we go. Stand tall, bend deep. Up and down. As you knee bend, try to press your thighs open like you're trying to get your inner thigh to shine towards the ceiling. Knees tracking over those toes. We've got light weights, so you've got to create some resistance for yourself. Really squeeze those biceps, squeeze those triceps. Make it work for you. Squeeze and squeeze. Full extend. Four more, we're gonna hold it low. In three, two, hold it low, 90 degrees. Out and in, out and in. Pull your elbows back, squeeze them together. Reach, pull it in. Whoo. Try to stay deep in that knee bend. Reach and pull, you've got four more. Three, two, hold those arms long here. Turn your palms in. We're gonna hug a tree like a big hug. Open back up. Big hug, open up. Hug a tree and open. Elbows bend, squeeze that chest. Squeeze, release, squeeze. Last four here. Three, two, Hold it in, find a knee bend. Right arm's gonna do a little lift, right heel's gonna do a little lift. So we lift, alternate, lift. This is it. Grand finale of these arms, you can do it. Four more. Three. Two. And one, release, nice job, shake it out. Woo. Okay, welcome to Pilates core. So all you're gonna need is a Pilates ball and then whenever you're ready, we'll go onto the mat to start. So to start, we're gonna place that Pilates ball right underneath the small of your back. Make sure it's supporting you so when you lean into it, you feel that support. The fingertips can come behind the ears if you need that or if you wanna go a little harder, you can always extend the arms, just make sure the shoulders are relaxed. And we're just gonna start with little tiny crunches. So make sure you're not like leaning all the way back into that ball where it's doing all the work. You wanna really use your abdominals to lift and lower. The ball is just there to support you, to help you to balance. It's not there to do the work. <laughs> That's what your abdominals are for. So exhale as you crunch up, inhale as you lower it back down. Relax the shoulders, whether the fingertips are behind the ears or whether the arms are extended. And we're just gonna add a little alternating march. So as you come up, right knee to chest, and then switch left. So we're gonna start bringing the lower abdominals into this a little bit. Make sure the knee is driving straight to the chest. So it's not bowing out to the side, but wanna keep it within the hip frame of the body. Keep exhaling as you pull up. Inhale as you lower back down. Here we go, just two more on each side. One more. Hold center, if the arms are long, go ahead and bring them behind the ears. And now we're gonna cross the body. So right elbow, left knee, extend back. Left elbow, right knee, extend back. So just adding a little twist, but still doing that march with the legs. Starting to get a little bit more obliques. You wanna exhale as you cross the body. Inhale as you lower back down. Nice job, stay with your breath.
Last three sets. Last two sets. Last set. And then hold. Relax the shoulders. Scoop in the abdominals. Even though we're leaning on that ball, use your abdominals to hold. We're going to come up just a half an inch off that ball. Hold. So really, really use your abs. We're slowly working our way off this ball completely. Come up another half an inch, hold. Feel those abdominals really firing up now. Come up another half an inch, hold. Breathe. And then come up the remainder of the way. Nice job. So we're gonna transition, so taking the ball to the front. Okay, so we're transitioning onto the floor. So bring the ball with you. Come all the way onto the back, bring the legs into tabletop. You're gonna place the ball in between the shins and keep the legs nice and stable. Extend the arms overhead, make sure the lower back's maintaining contact with the floor. With control, extend the legs out long. Bring the legs back into tabletop, there you go. Inhale as you extend everything out, exhale as you bring it back in. Make sure that the knees are coming in over the hips and that the hands are coming up over the shoulders. Keep that lower back maintaining contact with the floor Keep the core super strong. Just two more. One more. Pull everything in. Lift the upper body so you're like in an upper crunch. Grab the ball, extend the legs and arms, but keep the upper body up and then bring the leg back. Find that extension slow and control. Bring it back. Go ahead and switch. Bring it back, find that control. Awesome job, stay with it. You wanna inhale on the extension and then exhale as everything comes back to the center of the body. You got it, stay with it. Here's five, we're going to 10. We got three more, two more, one more. This next time, bring it all the way in, place the plies ball directly between the ankles, extend the legs out long, Bring the straight legs up, grab the ball, and then lower down into your jackknife. Come back up, replace the ball in between the ankles, lower it down. So keep alternating. Hold here, pause. Do you wanna move over so it's not creaky? Is that me creaking or are you creaking? I think it's me. <laughs> it's just the old house. It's just, there's a spot on the floor that was creaking. I, I was, it was doing that to me when I was doing your modification things and I had to switch. No. Yeah, I think it's better now. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely me. I can <laughs> Well, and the only reason I have to is because my mic is right here, so I was like, it's probably going oh, creak, yeah, creak, just creak. That for sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's just go right from the jackknives. So find that extension, place it between the ankles, lower it back down. You got it. Stay with your breath. Exhale as everything comes back over the center. Inhale as you find that length. Let's just go for two more. You got it, stay with it. Last one. And hold. So go ahead and place the plies ball about mid-thigh. Extend your right leg. The ball is on the right thigh, right leg is extended. You're gonna place the ball right underneath the palm or maybe the wrist. We're gonna come up into a half V-sit as we roll the ball towards the ankle with the hand. So it's gonna roll up the forearm, up the bicep, and then slowly lower it back down. And then we wanna roll it all the way back up. So we're isolating the right obliques. Relax the shoulders. Make sure you're breathing. Slow and controlled movement. You got it. Stay with it. Just two more here and then we're gonna go right into the other side. Last one. At the bottom, bend the right knee, extend the left and then right into it, let's go. All the way up and all the way back down. When you're at the bottom, make sure your lower back's maintaining contact with the floor because we want to keep this in the abdominals. We don't want to cause any pressure or tension through the lower back. Three more here. Exhale up. Inhale as you lower. Last two. We got one more, one more. And slowly release. Bring the knees in. You can set your plies ball off to the side. Bring the fingertips behind the ears. We're going to crunch and reach. Bring the hands back and lower. Crunch, reach, hands return, and lower. So on the reach, find just a little bit more height, like a little tiny concentration curl, getting nice and deep into those upper abdominals. 
on the little tiny reach, we're gonna add an alternating leg extension. So when you reach, extend the right leg and back down. When you reach, extend the left and then back down. Nice job. Stay with it, good job. Make sure you're breathing. Keep the lower back connected with the earth. You got this, stay with me. Find that little tiny extra crunch at the top every time. You got it. Last three, almost there. Last two, stay with it. Last one, fingertips behind the ears, just little tiny crunches to finish. Let's go for 30. Make sure the hands aren't pulling on the head. You're using the upper abdominals to lift. The hands are just supporting the head. This is it. This is gonna be your finisher for this section. Come on. Here we go. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, and lower down. Awesome, awesome job. All right, we're gonna get into a little bit of plank work. So whenever you're ready, you can meet me on the mat. We're gonna go into full plank here. So hands on the floor, shoulders pulling right over those wrists toes on the floor or if you'd like to modify you can go knees to the floor as you can see Beth is doing so we're gonna go toes lifted crown of the head reaching forward right leg is gonna pull in Beth you can pull that leg in or you can pull it to the side your choice we're gonna hold then we're gonna take it back out pull it in and out in right leg only right leg only in and out here we go in and out Nice job. Four more. Four, three, two. We're gonna add on here. We're gonna pull the knee in. Then we're gonna connect our knees, toe points to the ceiling. Then we're gonna take it back down. Yep, pull it in, connect the knees, take it down. Pull it in, connect, and lower. Four more. Four. Two. Now this time we're gonna add on, we're gonna press to a three-legged dog. So we're gonna pull in, connect the knees, lift the hips, press to your three-legged dog, take the foot back. Again, pull it in, connect, reach it high. Lower back to plank. Pull it in, connect, and reach. Take it to your plank, four more, four. Three, two, one more here. Take it back to your plank. Now we're just gonna flow through, pull that knee and press to three-legged dog. Here we go, pull it in, press it high. Pull it and press it. For four, three, two and one knees down find a child's pose nice job all right hold that child's pose for another four three two and one pull it right back up to that plank we're going straight into the left leg find that plank left leg pull it in and out start with just those knee pulls right to your chest in and out for four three two last one add that knee connect knees connect toes point to the ceiling tap it down pull it in knees connect tap it down pull connect lower down squeeze that booty as you connect the knees get a little bit of booty work in four more Three, two, and we're gonna add that down dog. Connect, press it high, lower back to plank. Pull the knee, connect the knees, press it. Nice job. Last two.
Now we flow through, pull the knee, press it high, pull and press. Really drive that knee forward. Four more, you can. Four, three, two, and one. Knees down, child's pose. Nice job. Awesome job today, guys. Make sure to subscribe to turn on notifications so you can continue to follow our programs. And until next time, farewell family, be well.